Hello, today I'm going to be doing Mountain Dew Barbecue, and I'm going to start with the pork loin. I bought a three and a half pound pork loin and cut it in half, and I have some regular barbecue sauce, uh, no fancy flavors, just get the regular, okay, and a can of Mountain Dew, and a chopped onion, that's about, oh, that's a large onion. Okay, and uh, I quartered it and chopped it. And so, you're also going to need a crock pot. And I'm going to use the six hour setting. Okay, and um, so stay tuned. Okay, I moved some of those onions over and I put the pork loin in and uh, I poured a can of Mountain Dew. I'm using regular Mountain Dew. I've never tried the diet and I don't think I would. And now I'm just going to pour in the barbecue sauce. And you don't have to worry about stirring because the cooking process will kind of stir it for you. Um, so anyway, that's how we do it. And now I'm going to turn on the uh, crock pot for uh, the six hour setting and stay tuned. Okay, it's been uh, about three hours, and uh, what you're looking for here, of course, is fork tenderness, and I don't get that at all. And I forgot to tell you about a step. After I turned the pork over, what I was supposed to do first was cut it into four sections, which I've done. And that just helps the cooking process go faster. And so, um, so basically, at two hours, you take the pork out, you cut it into four pieces, and... Uh, you know, then you put it back in the the broth here, the the sauce, and uh, let it cook for another two hours. And so, I'll check it in another hour to see if it needs more cooking. Okay, it's been four hours, and still no fork tenderness. It's still not quite the way we need it to be. So what we need to do is, we need to go back to this dial here. Okay, and press this button, and we're going to turn it off. Sorry, wrong button. Okay, and then we're going to turn it back on to the four-hour setting, and I'll check it in an hour. Okay, it's been five hours, and I'm going to check for fork tenderness. Still not quite there, but almost. Okay, and I think earlier I said to put this on a six-hour setting. That was a mistake. What I do is I put it on the four hour setting and after four hours, I turn the crock pot off and put it back on the four hour setting again. And it typically cooks for six hours on the four hour setting, if that makes any sense. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna let this go for another hour and I'll be right back. Okay, it took six hours to get this to fork tenderness and so I took a slotted spoon and removed it and took two forks and pulled the pork and so now I'm going to put it back in the crock pot into the sauce. Okay now it's back into the crock pot. I put it back in the sauce so that the all of the meat can get saturated with that yummy sauce and so now I'm going to remove it and put it back on the plate. Okay there you have it. I have pulled the uh, barbecue pork out of the sauce and now it's all saturated and this sauce is really thin and so you know that's just how it is um, it's actually very tasty you can uh, put this on a sandwich and add barbecue sauce if you like but I like it just like this because it just tastes perfect I just love the flavor of this the Mountain Dew and the onions and the barbecue sauce and the pork and by the way when I was shredding the pork with the two forks um, I did remove the fat so that nobody gets a big glob of fat in their barbecue sandwich that is very unpleasant you could also just put this on a plate with no bun if you don't want to eat it as a sandwich and have it with a couple of sides and so this is it. I'll be right back. One thing you can do if you so choose is you can take the sauce that is in the crock pot and put it in a skillet like the red copper skillet. It has to be something that's non-stick, something that you can really rely on. 
and bring it to a boil and uh, then reduce the heat and continually stir it until it becomes a reduction, until it thickens. And uh, you can also uh, drizzle that over the meat or use it as a sauce on your sandwich. Okay, I've brought this to a boil on high heat. I don't want to leave it on boil because um, that will cause the sauce to burn. And so I'm going to turn it to medium. Okay, now I've turned the heat down from high to medium. And as you can see, uh, you have these little bubbles here and the sauce is starting to thicken a little bit. Um, it's probably going to take about 15 minutes or so for most of the liquid to evaporate out. And that's what, that's what you're looking for because you want it to thicken like a sauce. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. As you can see, it's really starting to thicken. It's not quite where I want it. I think I'm going to let it go about another 5 or 10 minutes. And so we'll check back then. Okay, it's like five minutes later now. And the sauce is getting really close to being thick enough, as you can see. So I'm going to turn the heat down, actually, to low. And I'm going to let it go about five or ten more minutes. Okay, it's been about another five minutes. It's been on low. And this has definitely turned into the, the glaze that I want. It's just the right consistency. It's not too thick, it's not too thin, and uh, I would use the, I would just uh, spoon some of this over the meat, either on a sandwich or just on a plate, and it's absolutely delicious, by the way. Now, if you wanted to reduce the fat in this, as you can see, there's some fat. Uh, you could take this, pop it in the refrigerator overnight, or maybe in the freezer for an hour or something like that, and then just skim the fat off. So, there you have it. Mountain Dew barbecue with onions and glaze. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you and have a great day.